Camerata Singers. Uh, they will be singing our national anthem, followed by a pentatonix arrangement of Can't Help Falling in Love. Would you now please stand for the national anthem?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Edward Gay, and I'd like to uh, I'd like to thank you for coming out tonight and joining this concert once again between the Harbor Schools and the uh, Central and Southwest Junior Highs. It is a really neat pleasure for all these students to get to perform together before they actually move on to Harbor. My name is Edward Gay. I'm in my 21st year of teaching, and this is my sixth year here in Springdale. And I have the privilege of working with some of the finest teachers in the state of Arkansas. It is my honor tonight to introduce both the Central Junior High and the Southwest Junior High combined men's and women's choirs. And tonight, the young men that are entering the stage right now, there are 120 young men comprised of students that are well-rounded and very active in their schools. These students are involved in football, basketball, cross country, band, baseball, robotics, East, National Junior Honor Society, forensics, debate, cheerleading, student council, and much more that I really don't know about because that's in their personal lives to some degree. I know that these young men are leaders within their choir. They're also leaders within their own school. And to, just to show how bountiful the talent is on this stage, the Southwest Select Men earned the privilege of being one of the 27 guest choirs to perform at the National Choir Convention this spring in Kansas City. The Southwest Select Men were one of one of the 225 submissions and the only junior high men's group selected to sing at this convention. The, all these young men here tonight will be conducted by Mr. Alan Showalter, who's entering, entering his 17th year of teaching and his 14th here in Springdale. The Southwest, the Southwest and Central Choirs will be accompanied by Miss Denise Parkhurst, and she is also a music teacher here in Springdale. She teaches at Helen Tyson Middle School, and she teaches both general music and choir. So here they are, the combined men of Central and Southwest Junior Highs.
the women that are getting ready to enter the stage of this mo moment, uh, there are 95 young ladies. And once again, I'm going to list some of the activities that these ladies are a part of. Because once again, in the organizations that we teach every day are well-rounded students that are active, accomplished, and once again, incredibly talented. Some of these ladies are involved in volleyball, both in school and on travel teams, basketball, band, cross country, softball, east, members of both the cheer and dance squads at their school, as well as competitive cheer and dance squads outside of school. In JHS, forensics, debate, robotics, student council, and I also know between the young men and the young women, they're also active in their church as leaders and as teachers themselves in their local churches. They will be conducted tonight by Ms. Gretchen Watt. She is in her 21st year of teaching, all right here in the Springdale School District. She will be accompanied tonight by Ms. Jeannie Lee and Jane Jane Heinrichs, and they will be performing Child of My Heart, and then you will see Miss Jeannie Lee and Jane Heinrich play the piano at the both, both of them play piano at the same time. And it's one of those rare times where the piano piece calls for a four hands to play everything that is written. And the name of that song is called Why Not? And as they enter the stage, these are the combined women of Central and Southwest Junior Highs. And I have something I was going to add later, but I'll go ahead and add it now. This weekend, the Junior High men and women you see before you will be auditioning for what's called the All Region Choir. The region we are a part of here in Springdale stretches from the Oklahoma border to the west to Huntsville in the east. And from Springdale in the north, down the I-40 corridor, from Van Buren all the way to Ozark. Last year, over 1,000 students auditioned for the all-region choir, for the men's choir and women's choir in the junior high. 300, 300 of those students were selected to participate in, what's in the all-region choir. And the, they have a clinic afterwards in which they all get together for one time only and perform. Of those 300, 300 students that made the choir, 119 of them came from Central and Southwest Junior Highs. Between those two schools, <laughs> between these two schools, that, represent, that represented 40% of the young men and women chosen to be in the All Region Choir. So once again, Talent abounds here in Springdale, Arkansas.
Well, I, I don't know about y'all, but I am blown away by these junior high men and women. And I would just like to give it up one more time for the wonderful direction of Mr. Showalter and Ms. Watt. So, uh, Mr. Gay has been talking about uh, the wonderful teachers that we have and the wonderful years of education we have. This is my eighth year uh, of teaching, and I've been fortunate to been, uh, be a teacher all those years here at Springdale, six of which are here at Harbor. Um, and it is my great privilege to actually uh, work with this wonderful man, Mr. Randy Irwin. He has been a part of this district for now, I think, 35 years. And uh, he's done some wonderful work. And what's great is, you know, um, a kind of a telltale of what he puts into his music. You know, so many of his students come back and give what he gave, such as uh, Mr. Pinalto at Helster Middle School, Ms. Watt at Central Junior High, myself. Uh, we are all students of Mr. Irwin. And so it's, it's really, it's kind of fun to see this come full circle and let's give this back to the students. Um, but it, without further ado, it's my, with my great pride to introduce tonight the Camerata Singers under the direction of Mr. Randy Irwin. Uh, this is an exceptional group of students that I get the privilege to work with every single day. These students are involved in many things other than choir, in drama, in band, in multiple AP classes. They're the smartest, they're the brightest, and uh, they are the future of, uh, of our country. And I think uh, every day I get to see these students and, you know, I, I just am fortunate and, and glad to get to know them and, what, and know what's in store for our future. They are, these students get involved in other many things that uh, are part of our choir program, like our talent show that's going to be going on very soon. Uh, they also are uh, essential to Candlelight Night, a fundraiser that we do here where we kind of transform our cafeteria into a wonderful night. A, de a, a night of dinner and, and show, and you almost don't even recognize the cafeteria. It just turns into something completely different. So if you've never been, uh, tickets will be on sale the end of November. There you go. Okay, and then, um, and then of course our spring musicals. Um, within the Camerata and our Harbor Choir, we have had some of the top numbers uh, in the past years of all region students um, and all state students. Uh, the past few years, we've adver averaged about 35 students making all, re all state. And uh, this year, we have a number of 130 students trying out for all region. And I'm sure we're going to come away with a great number because these students have a great work, that work ethic and they just know what it means to, have, uh, to create good quality. Uh, tonight, they're going to perform Shenandoah, which is one of our all region pieces, arranged by Kevin Mimley. And then they're going to follow that by another piece that is not an all-region piece called Unclouded Day, a gospel piece composed by Sean Kirshner. At this time, I present to you the Camerata Singers.
So uh, this is the part where Mr. Ed Gay and I are going to stall a little bit while we try to pack 200 students on the stage like sardines. So. <laughs> more than 200. More than 200. What was our count at? Uh, well, between these two groups, that's what it uh, my numbers here. Well, 215 from just junior high. So how many right. have in Colorado? Uh, 62. Uh, I'll let you do the math real quick. I'm not a math guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We have a lot of kids out there that are, so we just ask them to like, take care of it. Now, this weekend, October 6th, if you are a junior high parent and your angel has not told you yet, there is junior high origin trials that are being held at Central Junior High. And they start, uh, I know that Southwest students, they are to meet at Southwest Junior High to ride the bus over to Central at 7 a.m. because they started handing out all the numbers of all the students trying out, all 1,125 of them, at 7.45. And then they, and then 30 minutes later, they start the audition process. So I am the father of two boys, so I know somewhere in the bowels and abyss of a backpack, there might be a letter that has something written on it that you were supposed to know about two months ago. Because I have lived there and Never. still live there. Never, right? I know, yeah. So, yes, so if your student hasn't told you, then yes, there are junior high origin tryouts this Saturday. And if you, some of your students, they might have already taken care of everything, they might have had cross country to run or a cheer competition or something, we took care of that or they took care of it and never told you, so you're good. Okay, so yay for them if they were really responsible about that one. And most of them were, I'll have to say that they came immediately and said, I've got a problem, we need to fix it. And we said, we'll do the best we can. Now I'll hand it over to Mr. Brown and he can talk about high school. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this, this, like he said, this Saturday, uh, is the junior high tryouts and then the very following weekend on October the 13th are the senior high school tryouts and I don't know if any of our students have informed you of that either we have been sending home letters as well and remind 101s I'm sure you get tired of me blowing you guys up on remind 101 but I am a person that loves info so I just share all of it so I hope that's okay but uh, next Saturday uh, not the 6th but the 13th uh, there is something that I, I, I am requesting, almost kind of begging and pleading, because I haven't heard anything from students. So I don't know if they're communicating with you about this or not. But we are in desperate need of chaperones and help for our October 13th. Uh, we have to have technically, uh, our bylaws say that we need a chaperone for every 25 students. And since we have approximately 130 students, I need about six chaperones. Now we can do like a morning or afternoon shift or all day if you want to come. And, and help us out but what happens is that uh, at the directors we are put into a room to judge all day long and so we are not there to chaperone and we do need some help so uh, if you're available please let me know and uh, I would be glad uh, glad to have you help so uh, any anything else oh, oh I'm sorry one more thing sorry so uh, also uh, we, they're gonna be happening at Springdale High School on the 13th uh, we are gonna have all of our Harbor students meet us at Springdale High School there will be no bus to go from Harbor to Springdale. So we'll ask that you meet us there about 7.30. So, yeah, I think I'm good. And then one more thing about uh, the junior high trials. Uh, the same goes for chaperones for Central and Southwest. We, uh, we do need chaperones. And also for Central, since we are hosting it, if there are any parents at the last minute that want to help, run concession stands, uh, paperclip things together in the tryout room, basically anything that you know, you can help out would be great. And then plus chaperones in the room. So we need a lot of folks for Central and Southwest. We have a few parents already, but there's never any hurt in having more parents to help take care of, well, just your set of students. So it, it'd be nice. But anyway, now I'll hand it off to, are you going to introduce? Hey, go ahead. You want to... I'll, I'll hand it off to you. You already practiced. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, so at this time, uh, if you see, we all got up here nice and neat, and it's pretty hot up here, so I'm going to move on. So please enjoy the West, Swa West Side Choir performing My America under the direction of Mr. Randy Irwin.
I just want to express my appreciation for you coming tonight and supporting your children. Singing is a great activity, and we would love for the, them to continue here at Harbor. So please keep us on your radar. Thank you, and have a great evening.